I'm here with Dr. Mano to do a problem on nitriles. Bilal from our Facebook study group thought it would be a good review for the DAP. Okay, Bilal Khaled, this is for you. I wanted to show you guys Bilal suggested to go over a little bit of nitrile review. So I'm gonna go through the chemistry of the nitriles and I'll show you exactly the types of questions you're gonna see on the DAT exam. Come on around and I'll show you what we need to do. What I did is I first show you the best way to make a nitrile, I think, is from an SN2 reaction. And what we did is I started with an alcohol here. Alcohols are cheap, they're easy to work with, and they're readily available. So what I did is I chose an alcohol and I converted the alcohol into an alkyl halide. SOCl2 is a very nice way. You could have also used PCl3 to convert it into the alkyl halide. I then used the SN2 reaction, NACN, and I used a polar A protic solvent such as DMSO, and that displaced the chlorine and put on the cyanide group. So as you can see, I used the SN2 reaction in order to make this nitrile. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the nitrile we just made, and I'm gonna do a few reactions on it to show you the ones we need for the data. Nitriles aren't terribly reactive, so there's not a million reactions you need to know. The first one, I'm going to do a reduction. Hydrogen and platinum or lithium aluminum hydride will simply take the nitrile, break the triple bond, and add H's across both the C and the N. And that would add on the CH2 and H2. So nitrile reduction, in this case, gave me my primary amine. If you would go down this way and treat it with a chemical known as diisobutyl aluminum hydride, or we call it dibal or diba for short, I like to call it dibal because the al reminds me that we're going to form an aldehyde. So all you would do is simply take off the N, make it into a carbonyl group, and add an H. So we like to usually work nice and cold, minus 70 degrees. All I care about you knowing is the word dibal, and that's going to give a reduction, but it's going to reduce it down only to the aldehyde. The next two reactions are important. That's always favor on the DAT. This is the nitrile hydrolysis. If you heated the nitrile in acid, such as H2SO4 and some water, you would convert the CN group into the COOH group. You could have done the same thing with base, heat, water, and then add the acid. So whether you're doing in base or acid, then base, you get the same result. So nitriles will undergo this hydrolysis to give carboxy acids under acidic or basic additions. And finally, the one most students get wrong is a nitrile can form a ketone when reacted with a Grignard. All you would simply do, we're going to treat this nitrile with methyl magnesium chloride and hydrolyze it. We're going to get rid of the N, replace the N with the double bond O, and put on the R group. Hopefully you can see that I've gone from a nitrile into a ketone. These are the main reactions I think you need to know for the DAT exam. Um, let me go to the blackboard now, and I'm going to show you um, how... We could use this reaction in a synthesis. What I want to do is I want to convert ethanol into 2-hexanone. Obviously, we got to be building on some carbons. So if you just looked at this portion of the molecule, and then we'll worry about this portion later. So as you can see, I want to add on a few carbons here. So what I'm going to first do is I take the ethanol and I convert it into the chloride. Then I make the Grignard out of it, and then once I made the Grignard out of this, be careful, I'm going to treat it with oxyrain and acid, and that puts on the CH2CH2OH unit. All I care about you understanding is these moves. I don't care about you understanding the logic or the insight. Make sure you understand the steps, how I'm arriving. So one more time, the alcohol into the halide that we've done many times. Then we made the Grignard. We treat the Grignard with oxyrain, and we get a primary alcohol with one extra carbon. Now, the question is, I got to build on some more. SOCl2 again, and then there's the nitrile. I put in the nitrile with NaCN, and that puts on the CN now. 
The way you would name this is you always call position one where the nitrogen is. So one, two, three, four, five. So this would be called pentane nitrile. Once you got this, I hope you can see if you treated this with a Grignard, that would break the N off and then you make it into a carbonyl and add on the Grignard and that would give you your product two hexanone. Now, if you wanted to confirm that you got a product, I'm gonna show you how you would have done it by using spectroscopy. Now, this is gonna be very important. First of all, in the IR spectra, I would look for this number 1720. 1720 is a favorite DAT number. That's gonna indicate the signal due to the carbonyl group. If you did a carbon 13 on this, carbon 13 would give six spikes because one for each one of the different carbons and the main landmark that you would look for is 180 ppms. That would be like the signal in IR of 1720. So this number 180, 180 to around 200 will give the signal for a carbonyl group. Finally, if we went to the proton NMR, let's look. The CH3 would give a signal. That's a singlet, that's easy enough. This CH2, well, it's next to two H's here, none here, so this would be a triplet. This is a hard one. This CH2 is next to two here and two here, and they're both different. So I would use the N plus one rule separately. So this would give a triplet of triplets. Likewise, here's another tough one. This CH2 to the left of me would give, there's three H's, so we use the N plus one rule. That would, so that would give four, that would give a quartet, and there's next to two, triplet. So we would get a quartet of triplets. And finally, we would get a triplet upfield as the most upfield signal from the CH3 group. I hope this gives you an idea of the chemistry of the nitriles, how I use the nitrile in a synthesis, how I name the nitrile, and once I got my final product, how I use spectroscopy. This one little clip should be able to have you have many, many questions that you can answer on the DAT exam. For more practice, look at the newest edition of the Destroyer. I put in some brand new questions you can absolutely love. All right, that wraps this clip up. You got any questions, hit me up on Facebook. Okay, bye-bye.